go guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to react to usa versus canada similarities and differences uh please before we start the video don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it comment on what you want to see next and subscribe to the channel for more content let's get into it the usa and canada are two of the most similar countries in the world and they've always remained close friends but they might be a little more different than you'd expect in this video, I'm going to compare and contrast the USA versus Canada. Quick disclaimer guys, I am American and I spent the first 21 years of my life in the US before I started traveling abroad. I've also been to Canada five times and I really love it there. I am making this video from an unbiased point of view and I'm trying to make it as educational as possible. So with that being said, let's jump right in with the similarities. To be honest, I want to go to Canada too, but I'm... I want to visit more U.S. cities before I go to Canada. Both the USA and Canada are in North America and are predominantly English speaking. Both countries are huge in size. Canada is the world's second largest and the U.S. is the third. The day I remember like still the day I learned that Canada was bigger than the U.S. I couldn't imagine it. It's like the population is so small and the country is so big because like for me, USA like and Russia was the two biggest countries in the world and then I discovered that Canada was the second largest. That was a shock to me. With enormous size comes lots of national parks and stunning natural beauty. In terms of the overall life on the streets and standard of living, they are pretty much the exact same. The strip malls, the fast food joints, the retail shops, there's almost no way to tell the difference unless you see one of these. Both the US and Canada have a tipping culture in restaurants where 15 to 20% is expected. So not surprisingly, you will find excellent customer service. And lastly, both nations are obsessed with sports, both are very patriotic, and the religion is predominantly Christian. Okay, that wraps up the key similarities. Now we can move onwards to the fun part. Even though nowadays you can argue if the USA is really Christian. I don't know about Canada, but the USA, like, it's arguable if they're still following the Christian values, to be honest. The differences. Despite being smaller in size, the US has a much bigger population, the third highest in the world with 329 million residents. On the other hand, Canada is the world's 39th most populous nation with 37 million people, roughly. You see, this is what I'm talking about. It's like Canada is way, way bigger than most of the world. And they only have 39 million people like the population is only 39 million people imagine how big like i wonder how like how big is some like the houses in canada or the apartments that must be something else because like when you have such a big country and such small number of population amount of population how do you call it number amount but yeah i can't imagine how big the apartments must be there roughly the same size as california Canada is freezing and during the winter time, it pretty much snows everywhere. The US does have some cold states, but many are set in warmer climates like right now where I am in Arizona. About 20% of Canadians are native French speakers, while 15% of Americans are native Spanish speakers. Canadians are nicer people overall, and it's not only my opinion. Just about every friendliest country- Yeah, bro. Until you do something to them. I have come to learn that Canada is not only polite and nice. The ranking I found online has Canada listed in the top 10. Canadians also have slightly different accents and different lingo than Americans. A. They also spell certain words differently than us, like color, O-U-R, and center, R-E. In the world of sports, both countries like football, basketball, baseball, golf, soccer, and lacrosse, but in Canada, nothing is bigger than hockey. I was waiting because like he listed all this sport I didn't hear about hockey so I was waiting for hockey to come up. They are the proud inventors of the sport and is followed in every corner of the country. When it comes to food, Canada wins on poutine, bacon and maple syrup while the US wins in pizza, barbecue, burgers and apple pie. Okay, maybe that one is slightly opinionated but it's honestly the truth. While both currencies are called the dollar, they're actually quite different and only here in the States you can See, this is what I was asking about Canada the other day in my video about Canada, I think in World War II, because somebody told me like they were not under British influence anymore, but even the money has a Quintus face. So I, I'm, 
I'm still wondering, like, how does it work? Is it Canada still considered the colony of, uh, of England, or how does it work? Because if even the money has the face of the queen on it, don't get it. You can find useless pennies. Does anybody use pennies anymore these days? In terms of political systems, the US and Canada both have democracies, but they function differently. The USA is led by a president, and we have two major parties, Democratic and Republican. In Canada, they are led by a prime minister, and they have four major parties and several smaller ones. Lastly, another big difference is that Canadians get free healthcare for everyone, and going to university is a lot cheaper than here in the US. That is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun making it. Uh, to be honest, as you can probably tell, I love both the US and Canada so much. And I hope you guys found some of the information in this video useful, especially if you've never been to North America before. I highly suggest coming here. Thank you guys again for watching this video. Happy Passover to all my Jewish friends out there. Take care, guys. Stay safe. Wash your hands. And I'll see you later. <laughs> I'll take care, my guy. That was a nice video. This is what I like. Like, simple and concise. Also, I didn't know that, imagine like having free healthcare. So if somebody moves from the US to Canada, does he also get a free healthcare or you only have to be a born Canadian to get the free healthcare? How does it work? It's, don't make me move to the Canada to get my physicals. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. That was a lot more fun. I've discovered some things, but I thought like they will have more facts, but maybe in another video. So please don't forget to leave a like comment on what you want to see next and subscribe to the channel for more content until next time peace out